Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel. I've got a chili competition that I'm planning to enter in a couple of weeks. So today, we're going to use the Kamado Joe Classic and I'm going to do a run through of the recipe that I'm going to use to enter this competition. So let's get started. We're going to get this chili project started by firing up the Kamado Joe Classic. I've got a fire lit in the center of the firebox and a couple of chunks of pecan wood on here to create some smoke. And I'm going to put my heat deflectors in the low position. And then I'm going to put my grill grates in the upper position. And I'm going to set my Dutch oven on here to preheat also. And I'm going to put about a tablespoon or so of beef tallow in there and let that melt as the, as the grill comes up to temperature. And we're going to close the lid. And I'm going to use the I command today to start this project out at about 225 degrees. This is the first stage of our competition chili. I've taken uh, some point meat from a beef brisket and I've diced it up fairly small. I've taken one medium onion, diced it up fairly small, and I've taken three cloves of garlic and really minced it up finely using my microplane grater. So this is gonna be our first dump. I'm gonna take all of that and rake it off into our Dutch oven where we have that beef tallow that's melted. And I'm going to take my spoon and we're just going to give that a good stir and we're going to let this go for 90 minutes here in the smoke and I'm going to come back about every uh, 20 minutes or so and give that a stir. We've been going about 90 minutes here and I've drained the liquid off of the uh, beef and onions and garlic that we had in the pan so we're ready to move on to the next step we are making our own chili seasoning blend here and what we're starting out with here is I've got two tablespoons of paprika two tablespoons of chipotle powder one tablespoon of ground cumin one tablespoon of dried oregano and two teaspoons each of garlic powder and onion powder and I'm just going to whisk all those together because we're going to use half of that during this next stage and we're going to save the other half of it for the last part of the process. And besides those ingredients, I've got seven cups of chicken stock and to that I'm going to add two chicken uh, bouillon cubes and we're going to add about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And I'm going to add about one to one and a half teaspoons of fish sauce to that. And my chili has beans in it, so I have a half a pound each of dried black beans and dried red beans. So let's get this stuff incorporated. Okay, we're going to start out by adding our chicken stock, to which I have already added our Worcestershire sauce, the fish sauce, and the bouillon cubes. Then we're going to add our beans. And then we're going to take about half of this mixture, this seasoning blend. You don't have to be precise with this. Just get close to half of it and save the other half of it for later. And we're going to stir that in. And I'm going to put the lid on this for the next portion of this cook because we're going to let this ride for eight hours and I'm also going to raise the temperature of the grill using the I command up to 275 degrees so we'll put the lid on that and we'll be back to see you in eight hours okay guys we're rolling up to the eight hour mark and I am going to pull the lid off of this chili and to that we are going to add our final stage of ingredients we're going to add the rest of our seasoning blend I have an additional tablespoon of ground cumin that we're going to put in there we're going to put one can of diced tomatoes and then we're going to put one six ounce can of tomato paste 
into this. And we're just going to stir that in. And after I get that just loosely stirred in, we're going to cover this Dutch oven back up. And we're going to let it go for another 30 minutes at this stage. And when that 30 minutes is up, I'm going to come back and I'm going to taste test it to see if we need any salt or any additional salt. There's been no salt put in here so far because the chicken stock had salt, the bouillon cubes had salt, and uh, we're going to just taste test it. And then at that 30 minute mark, I will add salt if I need it. And if we don't, I'll see you back when this is done. Okay guys, we've been going another hour and I believe we are ready to go. I came back at the half an hour mark and I did a little taste test here. I added maybe a teaspoon of salt to this and I also added about a tablespoon of honey. I actually meant to include that in the recipe to begin with and I didn't. Something to uh, put a little bit of break on the acidity here, but this, this tastes real good it's delicious it's a little spicier than i like i think i may tweak the uh chipotle powder back from two tablespoons to somewhere between one and one and a half tablespoons for that blend mix everything else here is perfect i can't wait to have this we're having this for dinner tonight so give this a try let me know what you think join us on facebook facebook.com slash kamado joe follow us on twitter at Kamado Joe. Until next time, this is John Setzler with the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel.